Hi, I'm Brent Johnson. I'm Sarah Wilkinson. I'm Evan Birch. We're in St. Louis, Missouri for the Pipe Organ Encounter 2019. Today is Tuesday, it's the second full day of the Pipe Organ Encounter. Uh, today started like every day does with breakfast and then off to lessons as the teachers came and picked up their, their students at the university. Uh, Sarah, who are you studying with? I'm with Dr. Frederick Holman. At First Congregational there, the big Austin organ. And Evan? I'm, I'm at Hope UCC with Mr. Bill Stein. And you've got that uh, big Harrison and Harrison organ there. Uh, the First Congregational organ we did feature in a video you might have seen before, there's a link to it. Um, uh, but then after that, I uh, came back to the university for lunch and then we took them on a little bit of an organ crawl uh, to Hope Lutheran church which is the newest organ in St. Louis installed just a few weeks ago uh, there you had a couple of classes hymn playing and music theory correct yeah. anything special you learned today from those classes and relate to us uh, we learned uh, you how to like you can voice a hymn you can like put the melody on like the solo line and then you can put the bass down on the pedals <laughs> So different ways to handle him yeah. voicing and playing. Yeah, I about um, some counterpoint in our music theory class. Oh, very good. Yeah, Horst Buchholz was teaching music theory and Ben Blassing games and him playing. Very qualified people you're learning from. After that, they got on buses and we uh, saw some organs around town. Brought them downtown St. Louis uh, to Christ Church Cathedral, which has the Aeolian Skinner. I assume you got to spend some time playing that one. Yeah. yeah what do you think? It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed the, the trumpet stuff. Oh, the big trumpet de Reredos in the back of the church. That's a fantastic thing. Other, you're playing a, a stop that's like a block away from the organ console, so that's really great. Uh, and then we took you from there to the oldest organ in town, which is the 1890 Pfeffer at the Shrine of St. Joseph, which we did another video about once time. Um, what did you think of that organ? Uh, it was really cool. The uh, action on it was kind of weird, but I guess that's because it's so old. Yeah, an older, different kind of uh, mushy action. And it was also a little warm in that building. I think I saw the thermometer say 86 degrees. <laughs> the organ was a little sharp. Uh, old buildings before air conditioning, yeah, but it looked like everyone had a great time despite the sound of the organ. So uh, from there then we uh, went over to Laclede's Landing and had dinner and now we're on the arch grounds where uh, later tonight everyone will be headed up there to the top of the Gateway Arch. You get to be tourists here in St. Louis uh, while you're here on Tuesday evening. And then back to school and then it'll all start over tomorrow uh, for day three. Uh, tomorrow evening there's a concert featuring Nicole Keller at Third Baptist Church so we'll be sure to bring that to you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, guys, thanks for helping me out today. Um, remember, all of this is made possible by APOBA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. They're the ones that make pipe organ encounters possible and they make it possible for me to be here bringing it to you. Remember to find out more information about how you can have a quality pipe organ, visit their website at apoba.org. Thanks again guys, I'm Brent Johnson, I'll talk to you tomorrow.